What's popping, YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. My hair, but y'all, my hair is so fucking big right now. But y'all, so the your girl got the gonna say where it is at another restaurant and lounge, pretty much like I was working in in Memphis or whatever. I should have went to this place first. I don't know why I didn't, but I should have. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog like my first three days because I'm shadowing. You know, my first three days trying to learn the system and whatnot. So I don't know if I'm gonna vlog the first two days, well three days, but. If I do, I do. If I don't, then you guys will see me whenever I start officially, like, you know, serving and running bottles and all of that. I'm blessed, though. I I'm really happy. Hey, y'all. What's up? Today is Friday, July 9th. And, yeah, um, I am I'm trying to get a little energy up because it's gloomy outside. It's raining. And y'all know I hate the rain. You know me. I hate the rain. I hate when it's gloomy outside. I like sunlight. I like like the weather has to fuck up my mood but i'm super excited for today don't i don't really think i'm gonna vlog inside today it just depends on how the vibes is but most likely not oh uh, everybody's telling me how much they're proud of me so y'all today i woke up um i had a song stuck in my head it was the song that goes grateful 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 the gospel song I had it stuck in my head and I'm like, oh my gosh, let me listen to this song because it's stuck in my head. Normally when a song is stuck in my head, I listen to it. So that song was stuck in my head. I was just reflecting on, you know, my accomplishments. I'll post a tweet right here. I made a tweet, how I bought my car two weeks ago, moving to my first apartment last weekend and, you know, got me a job within the first week of me being moved. So I'm just super, super excited for this new journey. Um, I was nervous, but I feel like today waking up hearing that song, it made me it made me like grateful, you know. I was, I'm more at peace. I'm about to get another phone because it's so hard to vlog on my phone with, you know, limited space of storage. And now I just feel more at peace. Um, and I'm so thankful for the people who are, you know, actually supporting me, for the people who are actually supporting me, for the people on my team. Um, it's like so many people, um, like hitting me up like right now on Instagram because um, I posted the tweet on Instagram and not even a lot of people on Twitter was hitting me up, you know, saying how proud of they are and just congratulating me. And I don't, when I post stuff like this, it's not to brag. It's just, I've really been through a lot in my life, still going through a lot of emotions, um, just dealing with a lot mentally. So when I post this, when I post certain stuff like this, it's not to brag, it's to encourage you know, people who are like me or are going through similar things as me that it's going to be okay. God got you, you know. You're going to be good. Because a lot of people think, well, I know I used to think that like, you know, like I told you on my last, in one of my last videos, I used to think that when I go through stuff, like it was just over with. Like I couldn't come back from it. You can bounce back from anything. Anything you want, if anything you want to, you can bounce back from. Like don't ever think that a season lasts forever because it don't. It could be cold in winter, one season, the next season, here comes spring. Now you see flowers. It might rain this spring, but here comes summer, so now it's all sunlight. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, think of life like that. I'm just going for like a light. Let me turn it down so y'all can see, if y'all can see. Um, I just went for more of a light beat today, simply because it's raining and I'm trying to chill. I ain't trying to do too much. Um, so yeah. I just want to come in, check in with y'all, talk to y'all. Well, I just seen 333. Um, I just want to come in, check in with y'all, talk to y'all, just let y'all know pretty much how I've been doing because I know my vlogs has kind of been crazy this week because I was job hunting and stuff. So now that I'm about to start back working, I kind of am trying to get myself on the schedule so I can, you know, do work, YouTube, and I need to start back working out. But I just got to get myself in a good schedule, child. Because it be hard when you don't got a schedule. It be hard. I'm going to see y'all later. Oh, and if I didn't say it before, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Like, comment, share. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new, what's up, gang? Like, comment, and share. It just started raining really hard, so now I'm really about to get off because I don't want that to be in the background. So.
I'm at work, but this music playing and I don't want to get copyrighted stuff. So. I'm going to talk to y'all a little later whenever I can. I'm trying to vlog, but the music is so loud. And bitch, I need my coins, so no. Vlog on music is playing. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. Y'all, so I'm literally pissed and mad. Like, so yesterday, well, Tuesday, I booked the nail appointment, right? Tuesday. Wednesday night comes, old girl ain't even, it's for Thursday, which was yesterday. So I booked the appointment Tuesday for Thursday. Wednesday night come, I still don't fucking have my address. I didn't get the address until after midnight. It was after midnight when I got the address to her shop. So I'm like, okay, cool. Get up the next morning. My appointment's at 1230 on Thursday. Get up, come all the way out here to Decatur. I stay in Midtown. Midtown to Decatur is a 30 minute drive. Minutes, bro. 30 fucking minutes for a bitch to tell me that she wasn't even gonna make it to the fucking nail shop on time she was like oh oh i could do 2 30 i could do 2 30 no bitch i have to work so then on top of that on top of that reschedule today is this her this not even her y'all i'm so fucking mad anyway we rescheduled for today at 10 she said she's gonna compensate me it's it's 10 10 almost 10 20 and she's still not fucking here i'm so mad like these new girls they be calling themselves doing hair lashes makeup and shit y'all gotta get that shit together like y'all can't be just out here treating and i know my hair looking mess y'all i'm sorry but i'm washing my other wig so of course i just threw this one on but y'all be out here treating any y'all don't know who the fuck y'all clients are like like bitch i'm it's literally sitting out here waiting on her I'm literally about to just tell her, just send me the money back. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to air her ass out. Because this shit right here is literally, this shit right here is literally ridiculous. Like, I literally just made it here. She literally told me 10 minutes before that she wasn't going to make it. 10 minutes before that she wasn't going to make it. Yesterday, when my appointment is at, when my appointment was. She told me that 10 minutes ago. Like, and then I get here today and you still not... Like, cause right now I'm mad as fuck and I don't like when my time being played with. So now I'm gonna blow her ass up on Instagram cause I don't have her fucking number. And then apparently the person who she work in the shop, we don't have her number either. So I'm finna raise living hell because this is ridiculous. Like, I don't like my time being wasted at all. Like these new girls, I, I can't do it. I'm gonna go ahead and head out and yeah, I'm gonna see y'all when I get in the car or you can see y'all when I get there. <laughs> a um server a bottle girl a stripper if you make your money and you're not able to show check stuff please 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 i'm just advising y'all i seen this girl talk about this on tiktok make sure you guys are going to these banks go to the atm to make sure you are making if not daily if not bi-daily at least weekly or at least bi-weekly um deposits into your account as before but she always share like stripper tips and like stripper you know little stripper tips you know to help other strippers out there and so she was like one of the main stripper tips is to make deposits especially if you are you know 
wanting to get stuff in your name you have to have a paper trail that shows that you're making the money you say that you're making so that's why i try to make sure well i ain't gonna lie i wasn't doing the best of job when i was saving you know to you know get my car to move back to the atlanta i wasn't really making those deposits but now i am doing my best to try to make sure i at least come especially because the atm is literally up the street from my house and it was up the street from my house when i was in memphis but like i said i was saving so unless you just have to keep your cash make sure you're making deposits